Hi there. So in this video, we are going to discuss for each loop in C sharp. So first thing, I want you to open Visual Studio and create one C sharp console project. Now you will have empty projects such as this. Inside here, we are going to create for each loop but you need to understand what this loop does. So unlike for loop, while loop and do while loop, for each loop will allow you to iterate through your array or any other structural data by simply going through one element at a time. So here you don't have to point to specific index number like you do with let's say for loop or do while loop. Okay, so let's take a look at that so that you can understand when to use for loop. So the first thing, I want you to create one array. So let me just start with string and let's create one string that has values such as colors blue, yellow, and then red, and let's say one more value, green, okay? Now, in a regular way, you will find that you have to check for each index starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, and then go through and print it out. But for each loop will allow you to simply pick one starting value from that content and then print it out. So let's say for each keyword and inside bracket we are going to create one string which has the value in our array of color and it will iterate through that and print it out. So simply say console right line value Okay, and outside this loop, I'm going to use console dot read. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute this program and find out whether it shows each value one by one or not. So let's check out this console output. It starts from blue, yellow, red, and green, and same will be outputted by this loop. As you can see, I created another string value so as to pick these elements and printed them out. You can replace this string array with let's say integer array as well. And you will still get the same output. In such case, you just have to replace string with integer and then insert number there. We can take a look at that. Let's just do this. I'm going to keep integer as is. Okay, so let's change the value inside. So 4, 5, 9, 11. Okay, and then we have integer to go through. So let's take a look at this program. It should output 4, 5, 9, 11. And as you can see, it does. So whether it's integer value or string value, you can see that all you have to do is call for for each loop and then create one uh, return value and iterate through your array. Okay, so this was a short explanation on for each loop in C sharp.